Success calendar for the May 2024. Hi everyone, I'm Sandra, professional astrologer, and every month I create the moon calendar for your successful life. In this moon calendar, I generate different, analyze different events and when's the best day to start different these different events. So all the dates in this moon calendar is based on the Pacific time. It's in California time. It's very important for you to adjust the time for your time zone. If you are in Australia, you need to view like minus 24 hours. If you live in the East Coast or like Center time, so you need to like do the minus two hours, like three hours, like five hours based on your time. So it's very, very important. This moon calendar is very precise. It's based on the minutes. In the moon calendar, if you're in astrology, the moon change its sign every two and a half days. So the moon is in the Capricorn two and a half days and the moon is in the Aquarius two and a half days. And based on which sign is the moon, it's based on like what is the best thing to do this time. So you will see a lot of changes that you see like, oh, for these two and a half days, I can do this event. And like for another two and a half days, I can do this event. Why I have like so many like until what time you can do some event or after what kind of time you can do this event that the moon can go to the Aquarius at like Monday at 2 p.m. will be until in the Aquarius until the Wednesday 8 p.m. So all of this time it's when you can do events based on the Aquarius or like Capricorn like all this so the different zodiac signs. So it's why in this moon calendar you will see before and after sometimes it's all day it's lucky but sometimes it's like before or after this day again it takes a lot of time to prepare this kind of moon calendar and i hope you will use it because it's very very precise and when i analyze the moon calendar i not only analyze the zodiac signs i also analyze the day of the moon we have the 39 or 30 days of the moon you have like new moon like a full moon like the first day of the moon second day of the moon third day of the moon and also based on this information it tells what kind of events it's best to do in this particular time or day so there is a lot of what's coming on in the calendar and i hope you will enjoy it i'm sorry for such a long explanation but sometimes you need to explain for people to really understand like how much is going on there and if I tell you this is a perfect time to do it, then it's really the perfect time. So I removed everything, all the obstacles of not doing it. If you want to know more about your astrology, maybe what's best to do based on your uh, prediction, you have some kind of bad predictions going on. Maybe you need to check your prediction first and then use the moon calendar for some events. But if you're okay with you your astrology, what's going on with your astrology, you can definitely use the just moon calendar because it's, it's also a very powerful tool to create a successful life. But I always do my predictions plus moon calendar and then it's like a jackpot. So let's get started. As the first event, what I really like to discuss always as the first, um, that uh, we just had on the April, I didn't do the moon calendar for the success, for the haircut. I just did some, because in the April we had the solar eclipse, very bit difficult time to do something in April and until the May 15, May 12th, we had the Mercury retrograde. All the events will be after May 12th, so when the Mercury retrograde will end. Let's get started. First event is uh, working on so your career. The working on career means that maybe you can apply for the interview or like, go to the interview, send the resumes, uh, talk with your boss, uh, work on your career. And you have here's the um, time when you can do it. An example are on the May 13th all day or so May 14 is all day and for example May 15 after 9 41 a.m pacific time so it could be like all day for you after this one um, May 23rd all day May 24th all day and uh, May 25th after 7 47 a.m pacific time uh, so for example if you're on the east coast and it is five hours yeah different then for you working on the career will be for example the May 25th after like 12 p.m. your time so you need to adjust to your time zone but i'm living in california the next one is launching the new projects i love this event too is when you need to when you've worked for a long time on something and you need kind of if you have like your own business maybe you need to launch new advertising or introduce new product to your customers or send emails like oh this is new product so this is very good timing to do it 
I will not name all the times you can just check them. Uh, but for example, on the May 13 all day and May 14 all day, for example, then May 30 all day or uh, the first after 8 28 p.m pacific time it's kind of pretty late but maybe in your time it's not so old times based in the, even the minutes it's when's a good time to launch a new project another very uh, good time to do something uh, it's uh doing the advertising for presentations advertising it can be any marketing what to do like do advertising or presentation is when you do the public speaking this is a very good day to do the public speaking and there's again all the events it's may 7 all day may 13 all day may 14 all day i think the may 7 is because of the new moon i think it's and again like you can check all the like this table and just make a screenshot of like oh i want to do advertising some. or like i want to do this presentation i don't know like when to do it just check it out and do it on this time if you need to go to the state or talk with local authorities maybe you need to get some permits for some things you were maybe for the benefits or maybe housing or something where you need to work with the government or with the state or local authorities. This is a good day to do it. May 23rd all day, May 24th all day. I think it's when the moon is in Sagittarius. It's why it is there. So this is a good day to visit authorities. Another important event sometimes you can do is write documents or contracts when you sign out the contract. For example, if you hire some people, it's a good time to sign the contract or when you like finish some kind of deals, it's a good day to sign the contract. Again, like you have this calendar, go over your May, all what you need to do and here's like just use moon calendar. Like May 16 all day, May 17 all day, perfect, perfect timing. Real estate and land transactions. This is kind of difficult sometimes it is, <laughs> but maybe the, you have options. For example, my sister right now, she's buying a new house and I think maybe it will end to the end of the May, but we'll see, maybe not. Uh, but if you can buy a new house or you're buying something or you're selling it, so it's a good day kind of to sign up this date. For example, my mom, she is working with this house. So she's doing with this house and I told her, this is the best day to kind of move this house. They, they need to move the house from one part to another part, kind of. This is a good day when you should move the house to, to move this real estate. If you have options, you have options when to do the best, here's like dates when to do best for some real estate or like some land transactions. Bank payments, inheritance issues, if you need to pay some debts, mark your calendar. May 16, May 17, all day you can do it. Applying for a new loan. When we check about the new loan, we also check the, the moon, of course. And here's like the best days when to apply for a new moon, uh, for the new loan. Uh, May 23rd all day, May 24th all day. You have just use it and you can apply for the new loan based on the moon calendar. So this way you will be able to pay it off faster and you will not increase interest rate if you may have. So use it. Investing. Investing, we want to grow our money. Again, we use them on calendar the best. Uh, today is May 13, May 14. I always use it. I always use this moon calendar for the investing. Hope you will use it too. Purchase a new car. If you want to purchase a new car, always definitely do it after Mercury retrograde and use this uh, time. It's May 15, like May uh, 23rd, May 24th. Um, all day you can purchase a new car. It's a good, good day to make it sure it will have like good shelf life. It's a beginning vacation travel. Again, like we want to, if you spend so much money on vacation, you want to make it sure, but it will be good. And here's like some days when you can maybe go for traveling. It's, uh, for example, May 17 all day, May 24 all day. All these base days are based on the zodiac signs in which moon it is and also day of the moon. It's all combined, all the time is very combined. It's uh, It will be very difficult for me to it takes, of course, I, I studied three months for it, uh, how to do it. It was, I studied astrology, three years plus this moon calendar, it separate was uh, from this main astrology course what I took, three months of this moon calendar, and it takes a lot to combine it. If you make sure like why it is like this, you can message me, of course, you can message me like why on the on May 14 after 11.45 a.m. why it is. So I will go to my moon calendar, what I created, and I'll say, okay, so here's what it is. Just, but right now it's, I hope you'll trust me this way. Another good event is move to a new place for, for the living or to the new office. 
also if you want to move to a new place it's here's a good time to do it to schedule your timing for example may 23rd may 24th all day and other days also it's good times getting married i would definitely advise you to do the astrology consultation for the marriage to make sure what you have the what astrology predictions are very good for this marriage what you are getting the best days when what your fiance is getting the best days for his marriage and then you have like best day for get married because how the astrology consultation for marriage goes is i checked your astrology i checked his astrology predictions and then i take this moon calendar and see for example you have 50 days of the year when you best day for you to get married he had like 30 days when the best day for him to get married and then only 15 days from these combined days are the best day mm -hmm. married so i will creating them i will find you one of the best days when you can get married but if you don't have your astrology predictions when you get, should get married you can use this calendar also and there's a lot of days when you can get married for example on may 23rd may 24th 25th 26th there are so many days when you can schedule your marriage if you want to know ahead of the time it's kind of last minute <laughs> maybe just go to vegas and get married uh, but if you want to get ahead of the time just message me like you can ask me like sandra i want to know for this month when is the best day to get married i will let you know or you can wait for the video too and go on romantic dates it's kind of just like bonus if you have like choice like when to go to romantic date here so you can do it or if you're married and relationships are kind of boring and you are just sitting home all the time like me and my husband sometimes <laughs> maybe you can have like the date nights so like the date nights one a month or like twice a month select these dates just go on the romantic date uh, on this date so it will be super, super romantic for you for example on the may 25th all day you can do Another dates are good for general cleaning. If you struggle with the general cleaning, if you struggle to clean or when you clean, it's not very clean, try to do it with the moon calendar because there's a very good moon signs when, when you start to clean, it's very clean. You very, are getting very detailed with your cleaning. Uh, so try to use this uh, moon calendar to more general cleaning or also decluttering. Also a very good time to declutter. So for example, the May 16, May 17, all day, or like May 26, all day, or any other timing, yeah? Begins of a new workout. If you couldn't get to the gym, you can try these days when to start to work out. For example, May 13, May 14, all day, any other time. Also, work on your health issues. We have the good days when it's good to start working with a doctor. Because sometimes when we go to the doctor, doctor don't find all the issues what we have. But if you go uh, based on the moon calendar, when is a good day to work with the doctor? He really find all the issues what you have. He'll be very, very make sure he'll find everything. So again, you can plan. This is moon calendar for success. So plan your May, check like if you need to go to the doctor, get this date on your calendar, schedule the meeting with your doctor and get your appointment and check your health, definitely. So for example, May 16, May 17, May 30, all day, you can get it. Start a new diet. If you have problems with your dieting, here's a great day when to start a new diet. If you, again, have issues with dieting, you can get the Astro diet. It's a diet based on astrology. It really helps with your routine. Because what I found, what helped me with dieting is routine. It's to know when to eat, when not to eat, when to work out, should I eat before workout or should I eat after workout, uh, when I should stop to eat, what kind of intermediate fatting is good for me. Astro diet really helps with this information. But here, if you don't have astro diet or you have like your own dieting, so what you want to do, here's like good days when you should start uh, your diet. Again, mark your calendar. The shopping. Partial break. <laughs> I have the astro fashion. If you don't know your style, uh, if you want to understand your style and don't waste money and time on the clothes that doesn't fit you, try Astro Fashion. It's an Astro Fashion guide. Mark your calendar where you go shopping to get your new clothes and look unique and you beautiful the way you are. Two days, uh, when is a good day? The good day to do shopping and update yourself. It's a photo shoot. If you're really in the photo shoot or um, if you need to schedule some photo shoot and take some good pictures, I always use uh, 
good days to do the photo shoot to make my pictures always perfect for when I do the photo shoot. It really works. I really, really see how I do based on the moon calendar for pictures of over perfect. So here are some days when it's good to schedule your photo shoot. This was a successful calendar for the month. I will have the calendar for the beauty. When's the best day to cut your hair, do the facial, do the manicure, pedicure. And I will add the link in this bio where how you can find it. It will be on my another astrology channel about the astro fashion. So if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and put the like button. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful, successful May. And see you in my next video. Thank you so much.